E55. Today it's Friday, 30 of September 2022. Yesterday I didn't have a chance to work on this car. All right. Today, finally, I can start working on it. What do we have here? The gear with the bolt, the oil pump chain with the guide and the tensioner, the check valve, the oil pump, bolts, oil pickup tube, o-ring, okay, Vaseline and in broad, yep. Torque wrench, couple of tools on my left, parts on the right. One second for you, five minutes for me. Let's install first these parts. Chain, check valve and o-ring. Oil pump, oil pump chain, the guide here, the new guide with a little bit of assembly grease in place, all right, being torqued down, the new o-ring in place, fine, let's put the gear, here, yeah, Vaseline, assembly grease, I didn't show you that I have a very clean and clean rag earlier, to be complete, let's put it on, and that's it with the gear, back in place, all right, obviously it's not moving because it's not moving at all, actually, in and out. I put assembly grease inside for the first start until it comes some oil up. So I have to put also the guides here to don't run dry the chain. Fine, and then I'm gonna adjust it to come the, all the last from this side to put also here some uh, lubrication for the first start. On the guide for the oil pump I already put, like I said, it's here, it's okay. All right, let's continue with the timing cover. Before I remove the masking tape, all right, I brought outside here the timing cover. All right, the damper pulley seal in place. This is where it steps the uh, O-rings. One second to turn it the other way around. This head looks like front. I have put the... Shit, we're gonna fall down. One second, one second, one second. Keep it down, keep it down. I have already opened and put the new seal here. I have put also the damper pulley seal. This I did yesterday, all right? These are the two O-rings for the timing cover. Now, like I said, test fit first. You don't hear the head gasket. Then take it out, remove all the oil, whatever oil drip drop down here. Put uh, assembly grease on the guides and then start closing it. Okay, timing cover on. Now, coolant temperature sensor here, water pump thermostat. And it's here, water pump thermostat and the sensor. All right, now, water pump back in place, thermostat back in place, coolant temperature sensor here, back in place. Continue with the damper pulley and the oil filter housing. Uh, and, by the way, take a bit of light away. You remember this bolt? The treasure was not good. This already replaced it. I'll gonna give it back to the customer. Uh, actually, it's gonna be here with the rest of the parts. The old parts. All right, that's the second one. Okay, yes. There, there. There, there are some other parts. There's also the water and a couple of other stuff. So, we are moving on. Uh, Mr. Derek, you know what I need? I need the protection that we are putting the cables, like this one. Come here, come here. I need this kind of pipe okay. for the wiring, all right? Mm -hmm. I need to dress this wiring. I want to put inside the pipe and make it properly because this was coming apart before. We strip it off completely. You know what I mean? Yeah, no. Okay. To dress it to be beautiful. Okay. Let's move on. Now, timing chain tensioner in place. A damper pulley bolt, that's a new one. It's not been torn down yet. The new seal here, fine. Uh, the new o-ring here for the thermostat cap, this one, and the other two that goes between. The nut and the small socket to bolt it on. Let's finish with that also. Oil filter, seals, Vaseline on it, shoving it inside, all right. Fine. Now, I'm gonna upload this video, I have no clue how many minutes it's this video. I need to torque it down, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna upload this video because I have to brake a little bit from this engine, I have to stop from this engine, and I have to continue for an hour in some other case. Then I'm gonna come back again here. All right, meanwhile, what I want, covering up 
covering the oil lines here so don't feel anything inside and down bring the big nylon bag and cover it from up till down you know everywhere all right that's it for now uh, today there will be also another part later on i'm continuing a little bit here power steering pump it's not fully torqued down the seams are in place behind on the 40 torques it's loose loose it can make this movement why to align the tank to come properly inside it has to come inside nice and smoothly with a little bit vaseline and you don't have to force it when you put it here inside and it comes here it has to align correct to so don't have any leak the new o-ring and the new tank finish with the power steering pump and the tank all right back in place now i just put the tension here for the v-belt watch it watch the pulley Put the, see the edge here and here with a steady point. I have no clue how it ended up like that, the, the tensioner pulley. Yay! It's not ideal because wobbling. Moving on. I forget something, you know. I forget something and I forget to put something on the video. Nice, no, not bad, eh? Good. <laughs> All right, the pulleys are all straight except of the tensioner pulley that is wobbling like crazy. I don't know why, don't ask me why. All right, then what I forget to point, I forget to show you here that I I came with a drummel and I machine this side here where it's the oil pump chain to don't touch. I went with a drummel and I clean it up to don't have sharp edges and to to don't touch that no, yeah that's it that's it that's it okay uh, fortunately i remember it all right the power steering pump i already show you the ground is already been torqued down the safe back in place aligned properly the bolt all right the AC compressor tensioner this has not been torqued down later not now uh, torqued down torqued down torqued down alternator we are looking good it's time to lift it up and close also from down right yep Today, since you came, all of you, you are running full throttle. You have a deadline to catch. Yeah. Yeah? And that's why, uh, I mean... Shit. All right. Okay. Well, just 30 seconds only from you. 30 seconds only and then you can continue. I'll gonna give you the green light. Yeah, okay, I'm here. The upper half of the oil pan in place. And I'm moving on with the lower one. Okay, guys, continue. Listen to this now. Thank you! Problem, big problem, Mr. Saibo. Yeah, tell me about it. Tell me about it. We have a meeting here. Ah, now that I tell you that it continues, you're not continue. Only when I'm starting the camera. Why? Right. <laughs> continue, man, continue. And that's it from my side. What's remaining now? Uh, it's remaining to torque down the damper pulley. I'll be uh, waiting to cure a little bit the, the sealant, all right, on the oil pan to be okay. Torquing down the damper pulley and deal with the covers, sealing it and paint it. Yay! That's it for now. Later on, when we're gonna start it, I'll gonna make another video. It will gonna be nice to change now the the pulley here, the tensioner pulley. Yeah. All right, that's it. Over and out. Thank you. Have a nice weekend. Don't pay attention. I said that I have to torque down the damper pulley. Without a cross member, it's impossible. I'm gonna throw down the engine. So first mounting the cross member, and then torque down the damper pulley. That's the correct order. Now that's the end.